Welcome to Websites for Beginners, and we're looking at the equal height extension for both free and pro Elementor by PewDiePie add-ons for Elementor. When I saw this title, Equal Height, I thought to myself, no, no, this can't be true. I need to go check it out. I'm telling you, this is probably my most favorite add-on ever to Elementor, because this is one of the things that has driven me crazy. If you often watch any tutorial on YouTube from anyone, whether it's in Divi, Elementor, Brizzy, or wherever, you will always see that if they type in a box like this, three lines, they try to keep it three lines in this box as well. Otherwise, this one will not have this space. But this is what the equal height extension does. Whoa, let me go show you. This is a pro feature, it's not free. So you have to follow the link in the description below if you are interested. And then once you have installed it, make sure that it is activated in case you don't find it, but it should be activated by default. Let's hop on over into our restaurant. And I've made these three little columns here with a call to action, you know, for our wines and stuff at this restaurant. And what you see here is what I'm typically talking about. Now, often you will get a blurb or you will get an info box that allows you to do this. But even in that case, they do not always balance perfectly. Do you see what I'm talking about, right? Here we have three lines of sentence and my button sits over here. Here we have two, my button is up over here. And here we have four and the button is down here. Let me show you with this extension of equal height, how we fix this in a jiffy. First thing is we go and we click on this text and then we go to advanced, scroll down until you see the PAFE equal height and then you activate it. Let's not talk about these three settings yet. Let's talk about that later. What we're going to do now is give it an ID, a slug, and I'm going to call this 007. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to this one and do the same. Advanced, PAFE equal height, activate it, and 007. And let's do it for the third one as well. Advanced, equal height, activate it, 007. And very important, this is not going to display in the editor. It only will display on the front end. So we update it and then we go and preview it. Let's scroll down, hold our breaths. And there it is. Do you see the buttons are now aligned? These containers for the text are now of equal height. Beautiful. Let's say we take the next one, the, the heading there for that moment, this one, and I wanted to call this white wines and this one uh, red wines. Let me type in there red. And now the problem is I have this in two lines and these two not. Let me show you how to do this in a quicker way, much quicker. Go to advanced, go again to PFE equal height, activate it. This time you have to give it a different slug, a different idea. Otherwise it's gonna get very confused. So we call this one 008. And now I'm going to right click over here and I'm going to say copy. I'm going to go to this one and then say paste style. Go to this one, right click and say paste style and update it. Let's keep our fingers crossed that that worked the way I intended it to be and that I can be forever remembered as the guy who got it right. Let's scroll down, doom, 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 doom. And there you go. See that nicely. There's spacing applied here and those three containers were of equal height. Let's go back and have a look at those other options. I click on this text element over here, then go to advanced and click again on equal height. Now there is the option to deactivate this setting on desktop, tablet and mobile. Why would you want to do that? Because in mobile, these three columns are not displayed as columns. They are displayed on top of each other. They are stacked. So you don't need that spacing like you would here on a PC or even on a tablet. So if I view this on tablet, okay, I think this still looks okay. I want to keep it equal height. But once I view it on mobile, you will see that they are now stacked. 
So I don't need to add that extra spacing and keep the equal heights because they are stacked. We don't compare them to each other. So what we do is we deactivate the equal height for the mobile. What I found though, is that you have to deactivate them across board, not only for one. So if you deactivate this one on mobile, then go and copy it again. Right click on this one and say paste style. Right click on the third one and say paste style. And now click on update. And once it has updated, let's go view it on the front end to see if that space has been removed. Let's make it mobile view, scroll down. And there we go. Yep, no space there. You can see there are three lines here, only two, but the space between the text and the buttons are the same. I love this feature. I truly love this feature. If I could, I'd put a ring on it. I'm very excited about this. I know for a fact that in the future, whenever I have an equal height problem again, I'm grabbing this one. And this alone for me is worth the price of the Pro package. Remember to go check it out. The link is in the description below. Equal height from Pionet add-ons for Elementor. And this is JP here with Websites for Beginners.